unzip Open Agent Studio Mac and then double click the cheat layer icon to open it. In Mac, you'll have to set certain security and restriction permissions in your system preferences to allow your terminal to record the screen and control your keyboard and mouse under the accessibility settings. Once you've done all this, when you open Open Agent Studio, you'll be asked to enter your cheat layer API key. Click the escape key to close the Project Atlas window, and then double click the start node to set your initial program. You can open any program or file. It just so happens that most of our customers run their businesses through combinations of services in the browser. You can set a website, for example, this Twitter tweet that we're going to respond to. And then click the magic scraper node to scrape anything on the page using English as the target. We call this the magic scraper because you can also add logical reasoning. So for example, you can say things like only scrape the funny tweet on the page or scrape the email address in the bottom right hand corner. This makes it much easier to use than any other scraping tool on the planet. Next, we're going to click the no code click node, which is going to take a screenshot of the screen and ask you to click somewhere on the page to set your next target. It will automatically generate the semantic target for you in simple English. Double click the click node and you'll see that the target is post your reply. Semantic targets are more robust and future proof than any other targeting strategy on the planet. You can say, for example, your target is email address. And that means it'll work on any website that has an email address, even if it's in an image. Or in some cases, you want to be more specific. For example, if you have a page with many email addresses, in that case, you would say the highlighted email address. You can see this is far more robust and even easier for non-technical people to use than the code selectors and image targets on every other RPA tool on the planet today, including UiPath and Microsoft. Finally, we're going to click the GPT-4 node to generate a generative response. These four no-code primitives, open program, the magic scraper, click, and the generative nodes can be combined to build any automation in the majority of use cases that covers scraping data, filling out forms, and pulling in APIs, which covers the majority of automations. So in this case, we're going to use the input to set the prompt for the GPT-4 generation. The automation input dropdown will include our previous scraped description, and we'll set the typing output to true so that it actually types the output. And then we hit Control R or File Run to run the automation. And that's it. It took us two minutes in total to build this automation far more robustly and even more future-proof than the top RPA tools on the planet today. This agent is generalized. It is now going to scrape the top tweet and then click the post reply and then generate a post. It's generalized in the sense that the English targets will still work even if Twitter completely changes their design. This is unlike every other RPA tool on the planet today, which requires you to go back and rebuild the automation, or it doesn't even allow you to understand how to edit the code or the computer vision selectors. It's far more robust and future-proof.